If you do any reading into Idaho election law, you'll find a lot of nuance there. And one of those intricacies involves party affiliation. For example, to vote in a general election in Idaho, you don't need to register with a certain party. But you can also choose to register at the polls if you want to. For the general election, that is. Primaries, those are a bit different, at least for the Republican version. In Idaho, only registered Republicans can vote in GOP primaries, and you have to register as such months before. The Democratic primary, pretty much wide open. But now two Idaho lawmakers say they want to change that, saying they want to even the playing field when it comes to party affiliations and the date by which you need to register. Joe Paris examined this bill with lawmakers to break down what it would and would not do. Heading into election season in Idaho, if you are a registered Republican or Democrat but looking to change parties ahead of an election day, there is a deadline you need to meet. Before the May primary, for example, this year affiliated voters would need to reaffiliate by March 11th. But there is an exception to this rule. There's an exemption in the law for unaffiliated, and unaffiliated can currently stay unaffiliated all the way up until and including election day and change any, any time during that time frame that they want. That's Republican Senator Mary Souza sitting with Republican Representative Caroline Troy. The pair has a new bill that would make the party affiliation deadline the same for all registered voters. It just makes the rule the same for everyone. All the major parties and the unaffiliated must reaffiliate if they choose to by the same date in March, that last date of the filing period, which I believe this year is March 11th. But what about new voters to Idaho who are not yet registered? Representative Troy says nothing changes with that. If you're not a registered voter and you want to uh, registered the poll, which in Idaho that is allowed and encouraged. So if you're not a registered voter, you can still go and register at the poll on election day, um, whether that's the primary or any of the election days, and say your party affiliation at that time. So why is this legislation being brought now? The co-sponsors say it's about leveling the playing field for all voters, regardless of political beliefs. This is just correcting something in law that uh, that is unfair and that gives a special rule to one group of people over the others. And there are four registered parties in Idaho, not just Democrats and Republicans, but Libertarians and Constitutional Party as well. So those, all of those parties, if any of them want to switch around, it has to be done by the May, March of 11th this year. Party affiliation in Idaho is mostly symbolic, but it does have a few major features. For example, per Idaho Republican Party rules, only registered Republicans can vote in their primary elections. Idaho Democrats do not have the same rule, but they are allowed to implement the rule if they chose to. So, is this about preventing Democrats from changing parties ahead of the competitive primary in May? Representative Troy says no. This doesn't change the rule for already registered and affiliated voters. So if, if there's concern that the Democrats are going to switch parties and vote in the Republican primary, they already have to do this before the end of that date already. So it's only the unaffiliated. It's not it's not changing anything for the Democrats or the Republicans. It's only changing for the unaffiliated right? because they have the exemption. The bill is early, early in the process. It still needs to clear both the House and the Senate to become law. If passed and signed by Governor Little, though, it would go into effect right away per an emergency clause. Okay, Joe, I want to clarify something I said mm -hmm. going into your story. So if you are unregistered, you can go to the polls on primary day and register for either party, whichever one you vote in. So you mentioned that emergency clause, which means that would go into effect if this passes and signed by the governor before this primary season even begins, right? Correct. That, that's right. And, and really, again, this is just about unaffiliated voters. And we've talked on this program about the idea that some Idaho Democrats may be changing their party affiliation so they can vote in the very competitive May primary. Uh, again, though, this wouldn't affect those people because the Democrats or constitutionalists or the libertarians, there's already rules on the book saying you have to have your party affiliation done by that March 11th date. This just covers those unaffiliated voters, people that may have been registered in Idaho for a long time, but they never affiliated with the party. If you are one of those people, keep a close eye on this. If you are interested in voting in the Republican primary, because as we touched on, you do have to be a registered Republican and there will be these deadlines. But Brian, it is early in the process. We're going to be keeping a very close eye on this in the debate as it gets through the House. But it's really an interesting idea that we're tracking. We saw a lot of information on social media about this. So we wanted to dive in and hear from the bill sponsors really what it does. And 
you, as you mentioned there, it, it is kind of leveling or trying to level the playing field a little bit to make both parties or all four parties the same. But there is that cry that says, you know, uh, when you're taking that decision away from the party themselves, which right now they're the ones who make those decisions. Yeah, so we'll see where this goes. All right. Thank you very much, Joe.